Hi, I'm Collier Spring with the Avid Pro Audio team, and I'm here to introduce you to the new Avid Pro Tools S3 in this series of videos. Let's dive in, shall we? This episode is about using the S3 control surface as an AVB audio interface. Well, what is AVB? AVB is short for Audio Video Bridge, and it's a standard by which audio, video, and control data can be transmitted across Ethernet networks with extremely low latency, high bandwidth, and solid reliability. For more info, go to avnu.org and read up on the future. As an AVB interface, the S3 is currently limited to 48K only. The S3 is a four input, six output interface, having two linkable XLR mic line inputs with 48 volt phantom power, 65 dB a gain, and 20 dB pads. Inputs three and four are balanced line level quarter inch with 65 dB of gain, 20 dB pads, and also linkable. To get to the monitoring input section of the S3, Press both the upper right side page switches together. This will bring up the input output section of the S3 in the upper right encoder channels. Selecting AVB12 mode on the 14th upper OLED by using the select switch, you are now monitoring outputs one and two from the AVB connection. By connecting a set of monitors to XLR outputs one and two and balanced outputs three and four, you can employ two sets of monitors. You have adjustable dim controls and cut for both. The headphone output, 5 and 6, stereo quarter inch, is the third pair of outputs on the S3, either independently assigned or you can enable the monitors to headphone switch on the 14th OLED. The level control for the headphone output is the thumb wheel on the right front of the S3 surface. In Pro Tools, when you need to set up a cue mix for a vocal session, here's how I do it quickly with the S3. Hold on, here we go. Using outputs 3, 4, I'll create a Q1 aux end on selected tracks by pressing multi-assign, with the upper OLEDs in channel mode, press the encoder under sends, then enter config mode, press the F encoder to select aux F or send F, press the output encoder, then press in switch to select Q1, exit config mode, and you're assigned. To set this Q1 mix into pre-fader mode on the S3, select aux mode, page over to Q1, and press the select key below the OLED displaying Q1. By pressing multi-assign on the surface, I can put all the selected tracks with Q1 sends in pre-fader mode in one press. If you want, put the selected tracks into follow main pan by holding shift default alt and touch the FMP button on the Pro Tools mixer. On Pro Tools, clicking the little arrow next to Q1 and holding command, either on your keyboard or the S3, opens the single mini fader view. To adjust this Q mix, since it's independent of your monitor mix, Press the flip button while in aux mode with Q1 displayed on the OLEDs, and now your Q1 mix is on the faders. Your monitor mix is on the encoders. Press flip again to revert to normal. If you have Pro Tools HD, try this for ultra fast Q mix setup. Select all the tracks you want in your Q mix, hold Option Command, and press H on the keyboard to copy all your main fader levels to Q1 faders. Done. In the monitor section, again by pressing both upper right page buttons if not currently displayed, you can set levels on the main and alt outputs, mute, or dim them independently. You can dim the level by pressing the encoder, and set the global dim amount by adjusting the 14th channel encoder. You can also send the monitor mix to the headphone outputs by using the in switch on the 14th upper OLED controls, handy for checking imaging or panning at mix position. Be sure to see all the videos in this series on the Avid Pro Tools S3, and read the S3 User's Guide.